Once upon a time, once upon a time, there was a, a small village. Okay, gamay lang yun village on the edge of the forest. And then ang forest surrounding village had many wild animals. Kaya tungod niya, ti, napalibutan sila sa forest. And uh, damo-damo sa mga wild niya mga animals. That's why it was very important get, for the people of that village to have knowledge get, of climbing trees. Dapat tanan ng mga tao, tuwi ka ba lugid magsaka sa kahoy? Dapat amugi na yung imong uh, tunan, masaka sa kahoy. Dapat sagad ka get, so that uh, they could save their lives by by climbing the trees. when faced with uh, wild animals. In kaso, ganito may mag-attack silang wild animals. Ang ilay mo, masaka doon sa kahoy. So, dapat expert sila. So, there was this teacher, okay? There was this tigulang, an elderly teacher who used to live in that village. And he was expert in uh, tree climbing. Expert gin saya. And, uh, and uh, tungon niya expert sa, he used to to train the young ones kung paano magsaka sa kahoy. And one time, ang ini siya matigulang was training a group of uh, young people and it was the last day na of their training. Last day na. And for their final test, syempre, the, the old person, ang ini nga elderly, ini nga teacher, took them to a tree, gindala sila sa tree, which was tall, tas taas gidya, and uh, smooth, and very difficult to to climb. So, muna yun lang final test na. So, gindala na to sila. Nakata! Ito na yung dala. Sila, tsk, 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 na sila. And then, the elderly said to them, ang balsang nila nga teacher, Nya today! Today is the last day of your training. Gapamati ng mga young people, you know? I want you to see if If you guys have uh, adept at climbing trees, tanawon ko kung ano na kamukha expert, ano na kamukha sagad, ano na kamukha ka comfortable ni magsaka sang kahoy. That's why today, I challenge you, ang balsang ilang nga teacher, I challenge you to climb this tree. Atong tas taas nga kahoy, ah. ang balpagid sang ilang nga teacher. And if you all succeed, In climbing this tree, then you can easily climb any tree in the world. You can imagine, tas taas tumo, tapos uh, danlog pa. Okay, ka, ka ano pa sa uh, surface, sa iyabing uh, sa kahoy. Do ka budlay pa sa kaon. It's budlay gid ya to climb. And, uh, syempre, so they stood in line to climb the tree. Nag- sugod na sila, linya na itong mga kids, mga young people. So when the first young man started uh, climbing the tree, he was able to climb it. Dasig lang. Very easy. Hapos lang gidya. He climbed it very easily and then started coming down. So while he was getting down, gamatamat na siya panaog, aral na sa tatunga-tunga, halfway na, he heard the teacher shouting, Nabatian niyang tigulang, shouting, Be careful! Get down slowly! There is no rush. Hindi magdali. Be careful! Amo na ginasingit sa ilang nga teacher. And uh, the young man did the same and uh, got down slowly and uh, carefully. After isang nabatian niya to, he went down slowly and carefully. And after that, all the young men started climbing three one by one. Oh, they started climbing the tree one by one. And every time the young man used to to climb the tree, the earl, ang ini nga teacher, the elderly, would would not say anything. Samtang nagasaka sila. The teacher would not say anything. But, when they were halfway na, kung kapanaog na sila nga daw tunga-tunga na, or, or just about to reach the bottom, He would say, ang teacher nila, ma-remind gina, ang ini nga tigulang, gina remind gina sila, Take it easy and slow! Hinay lang, be careful! There's no rush! 
There's no kind of hurry. Hinahinay lang. Pero kung nagasaka sila yan, why lang may ginambal? Pabayaan sila. So kung magpanaog na sila ganito, dapat na lang sila dadalom, ginaremind sila ng hinahinay lang. So following the teacher, the elderly, yun na following iyang instruction. So the whole group succeeded in climbing down the tree. And everyone was happy. Yay, everybody! They, 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 everyone was happy. Hey, they celebrate sila. Sadya, sadya, And after a while, a young man went to the teacher. So there was this young man. Isa sa ila went to the elderly and said, Teacher, you told us to be careful while coming down from the tree. Why not while climbing the tree? In question ni yang yang teacher. Ya teacher nga ginambalan mo kami nga mahinahinay kun mamanaog na kami aw. Nga why mo kami ginambalan nga ma- mahalong ka ginahinay samtang nagasaka kami aw. Amo nang pamangkot ya. Uh, so ambal sang uh, sang uh, ilang uh, nga nga teacher. It was most difficult to climb. Ambal ni would lie bla magsaka. And uh, that you and and uh, yet why ka gambal sa mon ga remind sa mon nga dapat mahalong so mo lang gambal sa estudyante ya hindi bilang nga budlay magsaka dapat i-remind mo kami nga dapat halong magsaka be careful while climbing but you were tam- but but uh, while we were coming down the the tree halfway kun tunga-tunga na kami then You ask us to be careful. Nga ah, daw suli bi. Amo nang understanding sang young man. Nga daw ka suli aw. Nga dapat tani i-remind mo kami mahalong ngon gasaka. And uh, hindi iya nga sang gapanaog na. So the teacher said, the elderly said, Look, ambal sang nila teacher, tanawa bla. Look, it is very difficult to climb the uh, the branch of the tree. I know this and you and you know it too. Diba? It's good lie. That's why You were already alert without me saying. Kabalo na kamo na yan. That's why alert ka mo. Already na kamo. Because kabalo ka mo nga budlay magsaka. This happens with everyone. At the beginning of the work, everyone moves forward with caution. Di ba? Kung gawar ka mo, everyone works, everyone moves forward with caution. Kaya kabalo ka mo kung sugod nga, nga budlay ang work. But, may kakulangan ka mo in vigilance and caution. Kakatabo happens when we are near the destination. Kaya kampanti ka na mo. Then, we start feeling that our work is about to be completed. The destination is not far away kung dapit ka na lang. And, and our attention wonders why na ta focus. Kaya gasalig na ta nga lapit na lang ta. Okay? And uh, we, we make mistakes. Gakasala ta because kampanti na ta, kay lapit na lang ta. And there, we make mistakes. So, ambal sa nila sang teacher. So, always remember that there is a difference between reaching near the destination and actually reaching the destination. There's a big difference. Dako-dakong difference between reaching near, reaching a lapit ka lang sa destination mo and actually nga nag-abot ka na sa destination mo. That's the end of the story. Wow! So, what's the moral of the story tonight? So, kakatabukin sa, sa atong tanan, it happens many times in our life, in in our lives, that even after being on the verge na gidla of completing the task, nga daw dali na lang tayo makatapos ang task, we are not able to complete it. ba? Diba? Nga tani tapos na eh. Tapos na tani, dali na lang, pero wala ta tapos. Why? Because something goes wrong at the last moment and uh, we are left with regrets. Gahinunso lang ta. Damo na kamo nakita videos ng mga race sometimes nga nag-celebrate na sila early pa lang, dali na lang sa finish line. Nag-celebrate na sila. Why sila kabalo nga may gadasig-dasig pagigali sa likod nila? Tapos nunahan pa sila. And then, ga-regret sila, di ba? Kaya nga, careless na tamo. So a little carelessness at the last moment sigurado gina spoils our entire work. Kung wa ka nagahalong, ngalapit ka na lang tani matapos, sigurado mas spoil gid ang work mo. So this happens because we lose our patience. 
when we reach near the destination. Kaya nga, kampanti na mo, dolapit na lang. ba? Diba? We make mistakes because of losing patience. So, keep patience till you reach the destination. Dapat kalma lang. Okay, focus. As much as patience and care is necessary at the beginning of the work, kung ano kakahalong sa sugod sa imong atas, make sure nga amo ka man nakahalong kung lapit ka na lang matapos sa imong atas. Kinang langit till the end of the work, amo ka man nakahalong. So do not lose patience till the work is completed. Be as careful as you were at the beginning. Ang muna bila sometimes nga, tingala ka, lapit na lang ka sa balay mo. Or lapit na lang iban sa balay nila. Dito pa sila na disgrasya. Eh, kampanti na mo. ba diba? So, kung ano kakahalong sa sugod, amukha mo nakahalong sa katapusan sa task mo. So, I hope you've learned something from the story tonight. So, if you like the story, I want you to react. 8.34! Yo! Sa bahay o sa biyahe, kahit saan mo magpunta, ikaw lang ay dula araw-araw.